I really want to talk about that farce. The farce. I want to talk about that work. I want to talk about that make-believe fight that's about to take place August the 26th. Wait a, wait a second. Are you talking about the fight of the century? Are you talking about the biggest event in the history of boxing? Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather? You know what? I retract my last statement. It's not a fight. You know, it's just like John Tenta saying, I'm not a shark. This is not a fight. And that's my boy. God rest his soul. He wasn't a shark. He was a man. This isn't a fight. It's a joke. And we're all getting worked, whether you know that or not. But, you know, I've been saying this from day one, but yet nobody wants to believe me. Now, before we get into... Um, the ins and outs of this fight itself. One thing I do want to point out, which is interesting, I found this out, is that Floyd Mayweather's camp has actually trademarked, believe it or not, has actually trademarked the record 49-1. and Now, that is an interesting thing of note because they've been doing this press tour across the country just a few weeks ago, across the world, actually, going to different major cities and also in the U.K. as yeah, well promoting and this thing. And there has been a rumor out there that they were sharing a plane together. So you say this is a work between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. If that's the case, a lot of people are, are buying it hook, line, and sinker. You know what? Joseph Goebbels once said, and I quote, the bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. You know who Joseph Goebbels is? He was the propaganda minister for Adolf Hitler. Yes. Yeah. The man was not lying. The bigger the lie... But I changed the say. I changed the slogan. You know what the slogan is from Stand Up for Greatness? The bigger the lie, the more jabronis will watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you and who's ever watching. I'm speaking the truth. If anybody that's got common sense, no, I take that back. If anybody out there has bad sense, a bat, a baby bat, think that this soiree is going to be on the up and up, they are sadly mistaken, and I'm here to let them know. Now, we've talked about boxing on your radio show before, yes, we straight have. shooting with Stevie Ray. You've been extremely critical yes. of Floyd Mayweather. Yes. And yet, you are still of the belief that Floyd Mayweather is going to go into this fight and is going to leave 50-0. and 0. As far as I'm concerned, this fight shouldn't even be sanctioned. How can you sanction a fight between a man that is 49 and 0 against a guy in a boxing pugilism, Marcus of Queensbury's rules, that has never, ever fought before? How can you do that? So that's first and foremost. That's your first indication right there. When people start to talk about conspiracy theories, you know what the first thing they do? They follow the money. Follow the money. Who got paid and who didn't? JFK, follow the money. Martin Luther King, follow the money. 9-11, follow the money. Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather, follow the money. So how can you get a so-called boxing organization that governs their whole boxing world to chime in on letting a guy fight? Whereas if he wins, that's one thing. If he loses, the loss is chalked up as a win for Floyd Mayweather to make him 50-0. The only way. Somebody pockets, somebody palms has to be greased. Now, a lot of people out there might not agree with that, but I've had this conversation with people that are in the boxing business that are saying the same exact thing that I'm saying. Not a jabroni, not some make-believe sucker on the Internet or on social media. These are real people in the game, and they will tell you this themselves. So if anybody thinks Stevie Ray doesn't know what he's talking about, go talk to some of my friends. So, so That's it, in the business, so, boxing business. So it was, the, it was the Nevada, correct me if I'm wrong, it was the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Yes. 
that sanctioned this fight. Yes. Now, can you think of any other example ever? Never. In, n- nothing even Never. close to this. Never. Ever. Nobody in the history of mankind. First of all, how do you even get a boxing license if you've never boxed before? You ever got a driver's license when you couldn't drive? Can you get a motorcycle's license if you never rode one? It's a good point. I know that's a good point. I've said it. <laughs> you ever thought about that? Well, what, what kind of license can you get? Well, one would argue. One or you? Okay, I'll argue it. Okay. That Conor McGregor does box, but inside of an octagon. He does fight inside of an octagon. Boxing is part of his repertoire, if you will, that he uses. And he is one of, if not the most successful UFC fighter currently, and certainly the biggest star in their company. So, I mean, this guy has knocked people out before professionally. He just hasn't done it in a boxing ring. Okay, then when we start talking about boxing, then come talk to me. Okay. That is what someone in the athletic commission should say. If that's the case, then a kickboxer, then a point karate guy, can come and do the same exact thing. What's the difference? They've beaten people in their disciplines, Mm -hmm. but their discipline is not boxing. So explain that, since you know so much. Well, I'm here for the edification. I mean, that's that's what I'm here for. Uh, I'm here to learn. you're here to learn. I'm here to learn. Why don't you bring that up? But, But here's the thing. Okay. Let's look at many different examples. Like, for example, Anderson Silva, when he messed around in the octagon and he got knocked out by Chris Weidman. There have been moments, there have been times in fights, whether it be in the octagon or inside the boxing Wait room. a minute. Before you go any further, yeah. don't try to pull that slick stuff on me. I'm just saying. You're not going to do it. It's don't possible. Try, you just gave me an example okay. of Chris Whiteman, the all-American boy, yeah. against Anderson Silva, right? Right. Now give me one in boxing. Can't really think of one. Okay, can't really think of one. So your point is none and void unless you can find me one. Find me one. Mr. Producer, find him one. You always, you're always looking up all kind of other crap for him. <laughs> you're always trying to put, look up all kind of other crap to try to make Stevie Ray look like he don't know what he's talking about. You get on your phone. I, I frankly don't know what exactly. What are you looking for? If you want to see more episodes just like this, you can see them in their entirety Every single week at TitleMatchWrestlingNetwork.com. It's a 14-day free trial. No obligation. Cancel any time. In addition to that, you can also get over 500 hours of original professional wrestling content courtesy of Title Match Wrestling. And also, we want to give a big shout-out to our sponsor, Walker, Texas Lawyer, for making this possible, this live feed here tonight, as well as being a generous sponsor to the show. If you or a loved one have been injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, Give them a call at 713-552-1117 or visit the website at walkertexaslawyer.com.